when I got deployed to Iraq, I, um, I, I went with my heart in it. I gave up, you know, being with my family. My, my daughter was just born maybe a month before I got deployed. I used to fly Apaches for the Army. And we went out and thought we had a good, successful maintenance test flight. And then we lost our tail rotor. We are at about a thousand feet. And we fell out of the sky, basically. On impact, I broke my neck. We can't be dependent on, on oil. I think it's important for people to be able to take care of themselves, to not depend on on other entities. Sustainability is the way to go. This is a south-facing roof here, and we've already ordered the solar panels and stuff, so mm -hmm. the house is gonna help me save energy, a lot of energy, a lot of money. I have a lot of people involved. They're actually volunteering. That's helping me out a lot. The shades, he said basically, uh, you could cut out 97% of the sun coming in. So that should lower, that lower, lower your air conditioning bill. I like to be part of the team, you know, I like to be involved. I like to know that, that I'm affecting their motivation. You know, I'm motivating them to do a good job, you know. Look, look, we got three more eggs. We have um, eight hands. They're all producing eggs right now. We get about three or four eggs every day. It's free breakfast, you know. You know, thanks to the goats, man, they, while they eat, they fertilize the grass compost. That's probably the easiest thing you can do. So we're going to fill it up with compost, grow our own vegetables, and to eat them. <laughs> we have artichokes over there and some lettuce. Learn to live off the land. Learn to depend on yourself. I hope I'm able to give an example. Maybe motivate people to at least think of small ways to uh, sustain themselves, you know. I'm not bitter, I'm happy. I'm happy with my wife and my daughter and this beautiful house that I have. Even if I'm in this condition, it doesn't matter.